everybody, welcome back to So You Want to Live in Bahia. So, today I'm filming this video at a building where I rent apartments, Yacht Privilege, Yacht, Yacht Privilege, on the Ladea de the Baja. And uh, let's see how this works out because I didn't ask permission to do this. Um, so, I'm making this video because I get this question all the time why do I live here and do I like it here? And so I thought, <laughs> I don't know if this is uh, in bad taste to make a video and then you just send people the link when they ask, but I thought, I, you know, a lot of people want to know, so here we go. It started off about, I think I first came here 16, 16 years ago on vacation. And when I came here, I loved Salvador so much, I bought an apartment and it was a vacation rental. So when I wasn't here, I was renting it to tourists through the agency Paradise Properties, which I ended up buying, and that's what I do. Uh, and so I was renting my apartment and staying when I was here, collecting some money, rental money, and having all my bills paid for. It worked out really well for me. And then I sold my apartment. Things uh, took a turn for the worse for me financially, so I sold my apartment and then three months after selling it, I decided I wanted to move here. I decided to move here because I'm a single mom at the time my daughter was two and it was just, childcare is just so expensive. I'd been a bar owner and it was just to bartend at night and to pay a teenage girl $12 an hour to watch my daughter who was sleeping. and. I just, it was this too difficult. Like I can't break off half of my money I'm making to a teenager who's not even working. So I would say that was one, uh, the big impetus for moving because one thing about here, about Brazil, is that labor's cheaper. And so getting stuff like that done, childcare, much cheaper here. Uh, when I came here, when I would go out at night, I was paying like 50 reais a night just to have a babysitter watch her all night long so I can go out. So that was a big difference. And so 50, to put that in perspective, that's about $10 with the current exchange rate is what I was paying to have her babysat. So that was the reason to come here. Also, as I had mentioned, without going into too much detail, things had sort of taken a turn for the worse for me financially as did a lot of people like in 2008. And so I thought if life's gonna be hard, I'd rather do it by the beach. This beach right here, Puerto de Baja. So I don't know, I think I made a good decision. So that was the reason why I came here. Now the reason why I've been here more than 11 years is I just like the quality of life we have here, me and my daughter. Um, because that's my number one job is being her mom and real estate is what I do to pay the bills. So I enjoy that I can work from home. I've really been able to parent her. And I just, I like that there's so much sun here, all the vitamin D, because I walk everywhere and I don't at this point really feel like I need a car. So there's that. I just feel like we have a healthier lifestyle. I miss that we don't have a Trader Joe's here. But at the same time, I'm glad that we're not eating prepackaged food all the time. So I feel like to move back to the US, I'd have to sort of join the rat race again and do that work so much that I end up just eating prepackaged food and I don't consider that to be particularly healthy. Even if it says it's organic, a lot of times, you know, all the chemicals they put in there to stabilize the food. That's just where I'm at with that. I think that living here, I've become a much better cook because now there's a bagel place, but when before when I wanted bagels, I had to make them myself you know, a uh, curry sauce, make it myself. It's not in a jar here. So I appreciate that I've become a better cook here. I just think that in general, we have a healthier lifestyle and that is really important to me. And then here's the, uh, the spicy thing I'm gonna say, but I'm a mom and I think it's, and it's really important to mention, I just came back from California and I see in California, that they're really pushing all this non-binary trans stuff on kids. And I will tell you, that's not a thing here yet. And I'm not sure that it ever will be. Brazil's a very religious place. Um, I just was, there's a lot of kids 
my daughter's age who are now identifying as the other gender. My daughter at her school, her school is either K through 12 or one first grade through 12th grade, maybe about five to 600 kids. And as far as we know, there's not a single trans kid at her school. It's not a thing here. And I, as a parent, don't like this. I feel like it, they're really pushing it on kids in the US, especially California. Now I know that's gonna probably be an unpopular opinion to hear, but it's where I'm at as a mom. I think it's already so hard to be a teenager and you don't need to throw that in the mix, you know, have them doubting their gender. And so I just think that I like how simple our life is here and I appreciate it. And I think this is the best place for me to be raising my kid and I'm happy to be here with my kid and I'm happy with the decision I made to live here. This video is actually quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice, simple life here. I mean, I do miss some of the creature comforts of the first world, but it's a trade-off because I don't want all the first world problems as well. Anyhow, I hope you found that interesting. I know a lot of people have been wanting to know. I get asked a lot why I'm here and why I've stayed, but that's in a nutshell, that's why I have. And so anyhow, uh, thank you for tuning in. Leave a comment if you like. And remember, I'm a real estate agent, so if you wanna buy an apartment here or rent one, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Beijos!